crowd in here on the opening day. They're all hoping to see some Russian medals. And as Annette Berm was saying earlier on, we've still got a chance with Veselan Mudranov in the under 60 kilo category and Alessia Kuznetsova in the under 48 kilo category. But before we give you news of that, we're going to see the contest between Papinashvili in the white judogi of Georgia and Ganbat of Mongolia in blue. Fighters trying to settle on a grip early on where they can launch their attacks from, but it's the sleeves that are tied up and without your hands where you want, it's going to be difficult to put in any sort of attack. Again, the sleeves tied up, so difficult yes. to get anything going here. And the referee from Germany, Andreas Hampel, has got no choice but to penalize both fighters. Yeah, because nothing happened. Nothing happened except I mean, there the are there, there are techniques that oh, you can work yeah. Yeah. from the sleeves. The difficulty is that they both became overly defensive and neither fighter attacked, so... Both fighters picking up penalties. 3.20 odd left to go in this semi-final. Baltinyam, the Mongolian coach, the Georgian coach, is Irakli Uznadze, was already invited to take a seat in the stands earlier on. Yes. First couple of minutes gone. Yeah, still no score. Oh, just the Shido apiece, so things nice and level. Again, difficult to break away from the sleeves here. Yes. I'm not sure who's the major offender here. They're both having a go at trapping the sleeves. It's making for a, a rather unattractive contest, I'm afraid. Let's have a look at this exchange here. Now the cross oh, group. Close to a pickup yeah. from Ganbat. Almost had Papinishvili up in the air. I think it's Ganbat that that's really pushing down on the sleeves and making it difficult. He takes hold of that left sleeve and kills it. And then there's nothing Papinash really can do. Yeah, and the same with the other hand. But it's yeah, Papinash yeah. really but doing. But it's really, so exactly. Both hold one hand, yeah. control yeah. one hand, and break up the grip from the, from the color. And they've both, they've both taken <laughs> Ooh, coaching. A, second, a second penalty. Yeah. Sorry, Annette, go ahead. Yeah, no. Just the coachy attempt from the Mongolian. A little bit too far away. Now this is a good grip for the Mongolian with the right hand at the back from the Georgian. But he Papine doesn't use it. Papinashvili doesn't want to take, run the risk 
of, of going across yeah. and getting called for holding on one side too long as he tries to feed the one sleeve into uh, down into uh, no one lapel in, into the right hand. Yeah. I know it's a bit technical at home for those of you that are not really up to speed on the gripping aspect of judo, but take it from us. There's a gripping battle going on. Exactly. That's the thing. What happens? And actually on the mat. Whilst they're concentrating on that, they're not able to come up with the big throwing techniques that we all want to see. Ganbat attempting the Satemi Waza there, throwing himself first, and then trying to use his right leg to throw Papinashvili. Breathing heavily, the Georgian. And there's the third Chido now for Papinashvili, for the Georgian. So he trails now. Just fell behind on attacks there, didn't he? Yeah. And again, that, that concentration on the grips took away Ooh. from his concentration on on keeping up the attack. So he yeah. picked up the passivity penalty. Last half minute. Chance now for the arm lock yeah, for the Mongolian. Yeah, going to stretch out now. Ooh. Udigatami could be. He just escaped there. Yeah. Just had the arm there for a moment. Couldn't put the pressure on. Well, it was close. Yes. It wasn't the most attractive. But Ganbat takes the contest on the back of having one less penalty than Amiran Papinashvili. It'll be Ganbat Bolbata in the final of the under 60 kilo category. The pair shake hands. The chairs are from the adjoining map where Beslan Modranov of Russia has just defeated Takata Narahisa and he'll face Ganbat Bolbata of Mongolia in that fight. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from that last semi final. Nashvili still has a chance for a medal, but it'll be a bronze medal. It'll be Ganbat and Takato Nawahisa to battle it out in the final. 